Hi everyone, it's Dean. Welcome to our day of the devotional. Today is April the 28th. In the Bible, we're introduced to a young man who was a dreamer. He dreamed big, and maybe more than he should have, he shared his dreams with his family. There's a, there's a great lesson we can learn from the dreams of Joseph and how his dad and his brothers received those dreams. Here it is. Not everybody is going to be quite as excited as you are about the discovery of your calling, your latest revelation from the Lord, or your dreams for the future. That's okay. God's excited. The life of Joseph took some pretty interesting turns, and as it did, Joseph was thrown into a pit by his brothers. He was sold into slavery by his brothers. He was thrown into a prison, false accusations. And yet, through divine intervention, within a matter of minutes, Joseph went from the prison to the palace where he became the number two guy in the entire government. When a famine hit the country, Joseph's brothers came to buy food, and it just so happened that Joseph was in charge of the food distribution. Can you imagine how Joseph felt when he was able to provide for his family the food and the shelter that they really needed? You see, throughout his life, no matter where life took him, Joseph made the choice to not become bitter, but to instead, he became better. What does the life of Joseph have to do with you today? Dream your dream, and irrespective of who's with you or maybe even against you, keep on dreaming. One day that dream, if it's from the Lord, may very well be used for the good of others. Today's word, Romans 8, verse 28, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. That should make you shout. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.